Crimson Trace Weapons Light, let's check it out. Guys, Crimson Trace is known for its lasers, especially on handguns. I mean, they make some of the most innovative lasers with grips and different things that fit just about any gun in the industry. They've been in business for over 25 years. They have introduced some light options, and this is a couple of their weapons lights. It's the CWL-102, CWL-202. These both have different intensities, but one of the big things about these lights is that they have multiple mounting options included with the package and the price is really right. So we're going to check out the Crimson Trace CW102 and CW202. And we're also going to take a sneak peek at their Railmaster which is their handgun mounted light. And I want to thank Crimson Trace for helping make this video possible. Now of course the lights themselves, uh, you can use these as standard regular flashlights. Oh man that's bright. And you know you have 900 lumens with the 202. It's longer, uh, it uses two of your CR123s, and of course you can get rechargeables if you want. Uh, now one of the things that Crimson Trace offers is what they call batteries for life. And when you buy a flashlight or certain items from them, uh, and then you register the item for the person, the original purchaser, can get one set of batteries for their different uh, electronics, one per year for the life of the flashlight or the laser or whatever it is. So that's pretty cool just in itself. Uh, but then you have one CR123 in the 102. And uh, the name for these is actually, and it does come with the batteries, the name for these are actually CWL 102 and 202. Now the lights have a really nice matte anodized finish. They are aluminum and uh, they do have just really good quality. Uh, the smaller one has 500 lumens and then of course again the larger one has the 900 and they're pretty much straight up turbo there's no other modes uh, and but this goes on your rifle and it mounts that's really what you want. It has a smooth reflector and it uses the Cree XPL LED. It does have a mineral glass lens and somewhat of a crenulated bezel so again, this is more of a tactical handheld light. You got your rear pressure pad, so you can just bump it, of course, momentary, and then click it, and you're on constant. Uh, but you can see how bright these lights are. 5.3 inches in length on the 202, and 4 inches in length on the 102. 4.5 ounces on the 202, and 3.9 ounces on the 102, including the batteries. It's one hour and 25 minutes on the 202, and on the 102, it's an hour and 10 minutes. And we are still going on the original batteries, and we've taken this, these out to the range a number of times, including night shooting and testing. And we're going to test out the beam distance of the CWL-102. 500 lumens. This is about 30 yards out. It's a nice, nice hot spot, and then it gives some flood as well. Now, if you're... Out here you can see that it does show up this general area pretty well. And here we have the CWL202 and this gives out 900 lumens. Now definitely brighter and uh, we're getting a lot of light. Um, still pretty much the same spill. So we're going to try these two together. Here is the 202 and we're going to bring out the 102. So it's definitely a lot brighter, especially up here at those treetops where the light green is. You're really getting a lot more light with the 202. Now we've got the 102 and I wanted to look at it next to a fence. Then we're going to bring out the 202 and you can see the difference. With the naked eye you're getting more difference than you are with the camera. 
but there it is. All right, we're getting down to about 75 yards out there with that tree line. Nice, broad flood. In fact, that's a pretty large field down there. And we're getting some a lot of light. This is with the 102, 500 lumens. And here we are with the 202, definitely a much brighter light. We're getting a lot more out there in that field. Let's do both together. Here on the left, 202, on the right, the 102. But when you're getting out into the woods, definitely a lot more light, especially on out past that brush. Yeah, that gives you more of an idea. You can see the brightness. There you go. But guys, what I'm probably more excited about than anything is the accessories that you get with these lights. Uh, you do get a standard Picatinny rail mount, and uh, you can just put that on any Picatinny rail, and we'll install that in just a second. But you also get a adapter that's a key mod mount, and then you can remove this plate and install for your M-Lock. This is a really cool system, guys. I mean, no matter what you have, you can go direct or you can go to your Picatinny rail. And so if you're like me, I have key mod and M-Lock. And so it makes it kind of crazy sometimes to try to differentiate. But with these, you can do all of it. Uh, what's cool also is they have a pressure pad switch included with a replaceable tail cap. And this really works well. And you get the tools to install it. Now, this is the big thing, guys. The 202 runs $89 on the Crimson Trace website. The 102 is $69. I mean, that is a fantastic price for all the different accessories that you're getting. Now, just go ahead and remove your tail cap. You can leave the batteries in if you want. And then we're going to take and we're just going to unscrew these side screws. Now, this is not what mounts to your Picatinny, which is right here. And what we're going to do is just loosen these up a little bit. And this allows for your light to go right in. And then we can add our tail switch, either one. Then all we need to do is tighten up here, and then once you mount it, tighten up here, and there is a uh, locking washer that's going to hold that into place. Or you can take this off, add your pressure pad tail cap, and then we have either Velcro straps or they have some 3M adhesive that you can add directly to the rail. Now this is the cool thing. If you press anywhere on this pad, it doesn't matter. And if you've ever had these pads before, there's usually one place where you hit. But it doesn't matter where you hit on this pad. It is momentary on. If you want constant on, hit the button and you're at constant. And so I really like this system. Now from what I understand, Crimson Trace is getting ready to offer a different setup, but very similar to this. Now this is an M-Lock rail, but we have a Picatinny rail section. So we can bring up our rail section just put it on there bring around your velcro strip locks down nice and tight and then we're ready to go and of course obviously you can put this wherever you want to now on the key mod and the m lock uh, you can just reach down from the top and loosen these up and go ahead and attach this to your rail system and then you can include the light to go from key mod to m lock it's really simple uh, this plate is what we need to remove and then we're going to include our screws and our M-Lock sets to go in here. So it's actually the smaller screw for the key mod and the larger for the M-Lock. Just unscrew your key mod little mounts. Pull off your plate. Now you can obviously put a little bit of Loctite on there to help keep them set. We're going to put on our standard M-Lock and then just put on your little M-Lock, little feet. <laughs> Honestly, this is a very ingenious system. Now to install the key mod, all you need to do is just to loosen it up, and you can do that again from the top. Just place it on the desired rail section, move forward, and then just tighten it down. Bring in your light. Again, you can put this or the pressure pad and tighten the light right here. And now, you got your light mounted. Guys, we wanted to do some testing at night, and that's really important to see how the lights perform mounted to a firearm. Uh, but we had to use 22 just to keep the noise down when it gets late. 
but we also took them to the range and shot them with you know regular center fire rifles and uh, guys they didn't shut on and off they just really work uh, the brightness was good 900 lumens out of the big one and 500 lumens out of the 102 now they're impact resistant up to one meter but they're also waterproof up to one meter and sometimes when the elements are not agreeable it's nice to be able to have something that can take it Now guys, the CMR 208 Railmaster, and I'm uh, just going to do just a really quick little overview of this light. Uh, one of the things about this light in particular is that it has 420 lumens, so it's going to be really bright. You have momentary if you hold, and then if you just press and click, it's on constant on. It has one of the Cree XPLs, just like the other lights. To go through the different modes, press both and hold. It'll go down to the low. If you let go, it'll have that as a memory and then press and hold, it'll go to strobe. And so you can set this, just when you hit it, it'll go straight to strobe. It's one meter shock resistant, and it's also one meter waterproof. The run times are one hour, five minutes on 420, and then on the lower setting of 110, it's one hour and 50 minutes. It weighs 4.1 ounces. Now they do have a number of models with lasers, and you can check the Crimson Trace website. But uh, this only runs $89, which is a great price. A very easy interface. Of course, it has this red around the bezel, which all the other lights have as well. Easy to install. Just have a flathead screw. And then you can actually adjust this rail to different points. And that makes it really nice, especially for smaller guns. And we're going to check this out a little bit more in depth coming up. Guys, again, you get your standard Picatinny rail mount. You get your M-Lock convertible key mod mount. You get your pressure pad switch with tail switch and you also get the tools you need and that comes with each one of the lights and again batteries for life and guys it's 69 dollars for the 102 and 89 dollars for the 202 and all the different various mounts that you can adapt to whatever platform you have and just use this as a regular flashlight that's a fantastic price for a very versatile light with crimson trace name behind it and again, guys, I want to thank Crimson Trace for helping make this video possible. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. CWL 102, CW 10, CW, CW 10, yeah. Of course, you got your rear pat, pass. Crimson Trace Weapons Lights, let's check it out as the light comes in my freaking face. Freaking face! Woo!